Okay, so now my water is up at a boil. It's about to uh, come to a real good boil here. So I'm going to go ahead and start my timer and uh, set it to three minutes. Starting. Uh, this Lab 9 Experiment 1 does give you the option to use the microwave, but I have a stove and a pot and water, so I decided to use that instead. Um, if you do use the microwave, you've got to make sure you use a microwave safe op uh, object such as a wooden toothpick. Um, so understand that that's part, uh, the extra part of this. Anyways, though, the water's boiling. We'll give it three minutes, and then we'll bring it down to a simmer. All right, while I'm doing that, I'm looking at step two here, saying place one of the styrofoam cups on my scale. I've got my styrofoam cup here ready to go. I've got my digital scale. I've already turned it on. Check it out. Make sure it still works. That power's still good. Uh, the idea here is we're going to put five zero milliliters of uh, water in here and set up a cal calorimeter. And uh, here's my five zero milliliters of distilled water and my hundred milliliter graduated cylinder. Okay, we're at 1 minute and 23 seconds. All right, three zero seconds left. All right, three minutes, bring it down to a simmer. All right, as we wait for that to come down to a simmer, we'll go ahead and do uh, step two. All right, place one styrofoam cup on the scale. So I'll turn my scale on first right now, make sure it's uh, zeroed out. I always like to take the measurement of what the cup is in case I make any mistakes. I have backup for the data. So my cup weighs about 2.5 grams. Then it says uh, the clutch, press the uh, OT button, I'll hit that. Now we're zeroed out, zero grams. <clears throat> okay, it says here the scale should now read zero, check. Step three, using the 100 milliliter graduated cylinder, measure five zero milliliters of room temperature distilled water. So this uh, water's been sitting out in the room for a long time. Um, and I'm gonna put it into my styrofoam cup on the scale. Hold my cup so I don't make a mess. All right. Get all the water out. <clears throat> okay, so I come up with 49.2 grams on the scale there. Write that down. All right. It says record the mass of the water in table two in experiment one data sheet. So I've got my data sheet over here. Table two. And my water weighs 49.2 grams. All right. Okay, we're down to a simmer. Bring it back up here a little bit. I don't want 
it down too much. Still got bubbles going. Okay. All right. Uh, it says here to step four is done. Step five, place the styrofoam cup containing the five zero milliliter of blue water and temperature inside an empty styrofoam cup. So I got another empty styrofoam cup here. Place that in here. Okay. And then that is step five complete. In step six, it says to place your cups up right inside the 200 fill, 250 milliliter beaker. So here's my 250 milliliter beaker. I'm going to place it in there right side up. The beaker is used to provide vertical support for the styrofoam cups. Place the beaker and the cups on the counter. All right, so I have them on the counter here. I'm going to go ahead and move this over here. So I'm going to make a mess. Careful. All right. Step six is done. Step seven, cover the cup containing the five zero milliliter water with the styrofoam cup lid. So this is my lid. So what I did before I um, kind of did this preemptive because it's going to be hard if the lid's on there. I'm afraid I'm going to spill the water. I don't know I'm dealing with hot water. So I, I went ahead and kind of got the hole started. There is a little hole in the lid, but it's really tiny. So I got it, uh, got it going a little bit better with the thermometer preemptively. So it says cover the cup containing the 5-0 milliliter water with the styrofoam cup lid. Okay, it's covered. Step 7 is complete. Step 8, insert the thermometer into the hole. This apparatus is your calorimeter. Alright, it is in there. Cool. It tells me to record the temperature of the water. This is my initial temperature, and I need to record it in table three. Turn my thermometer on. It's degrees Celsius. Give it a minute to read here. And now it's reading 23.5 degrees Celsius. We'll see if it changes here in about a minute. Okay, no change. Should be at 23.5 instead. Alright, table three. <clears throat> this for temperature trial one. That is going to be 23.5 degrees Celsius. Alright. I'll keep my table ready right over here. Alright, so step nine. Record the temperature of the water. And table three, done. I'm going to step 10. We'll be performing these steps several times. I'm going to kind of run through it once, maybe twice, just to give you an idea and then stop there for you. So it says on the digital scale, press the OT button. So we'll do that. It's now reading zero. Your scale should now read zero. Pick up your unknown metal object. So over here is my unknown metal. It says to place it on the scale and record the weight of the unknown metal. Recorded in table two. We got 19.0 grams, so 19 grams. Okay, unknown metal strip mass is 19.0 grams. Okay. All right. So step 10 is complete. Step 11. All right, we're now at a nice simmer. Good, good. Bring down just a teeny bit more. Using the hot pad, pick up the unknown metal strip with the test tube clamp and hold the clamp in unknown metal in the simmering water for five minutes to ensure that the unknown metal reaches the same temp uh, temperature as the water. Uh, note, do not drop the unknown metal in the pot, water, uh, pot of hot water and leave it there. Uh, it will be difficult to retrieve the heated metal from the hot water and any attempt to do, could, do so could cause severe burns. Uh, and I'm just kind of read it a little bit ahead so I know what to anticipate after that because I'm dealing with something that's hot. I don't want to, you know, I have to mess with it for too long. After five minutes have passed, quickly transfer the hot unknown metal into the calor calorimeter. Um, remember to quickly replace the lid with the thermometer in it. Be sure careful, or be careful to ensure that the thermometer is not touching the metal. 
only the water. So that would be kind of tricky. And uh, because we're dealing with something so hot, you have styrofoam and everything, you have to be a little cautious so you don't melt anything. All right, so I've got my uh, got my tube test tube clamp here. On here, you'll notice they have a little uh, a little ring to help help you out when you're trying to grab stuff. But I'm going to make sure this thing's holding on to this real good. All right, now I've got my hot pad. That's right here, so I don't burn myself. And we're going to do this and use our calorimeter calorimeter um, several times to basically record some data, basically the temperature of the metal through the cal calorimeter um, and put that in our table. Alright, so I've got this set up. It's kind of what it looks like. It's nice holding, nice and steady so I'm not worried about it dropping. I kind of want to test things out to make sure it's going to hold. Uh, since, since I'm going into water, it's a little shallow here. I'm actually going to put it this way and put it sideways. This thing's a little iffy. Alright, so I just got to be careful when I hold it. I understand it. Be gentle. So I'm going to hold it in there like this so I can get it covered with water. Alright. Got that. Got my hot pad. that all right and then we're going to do a five minutes so I've got my timer here I'm going to go ahead and place this in there I guess I could set it like that there we go that way I don't drop it five minutes here we go put my meter out of the way so we'll wait five minutes I'll uh, do another video to show you, show you what we get for some of the results here, I'll tell you out loud. Thanks.